Oh, sorry. Hey, what's up, man? Mark Khan here, and this is Fresh TV. Again, <laughs> you'll be banging it out with me huh, today, learning a lot of the fresh techniques. Coming up on the Fresh Fight Card for you today, I don't consider myself a violent person. I just, um, I believe uh, I'm just pretty good at, at uh, adapting to different situations. And the latest from the Fresh Housewives of South Auckland. You don't know what it's like to wake up every morning and have to wax your chest. Yeah, she missed the spot. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh hey, yeah. First up, uh, fighting out of the Red Hibiscus Corner is our favorite celebrity stalker, Pani Ratsi. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I first met Linda LePoe when uh, I first became leader of the Labour Party and someone advised me to get some, you know, fashion sense. But when I actually met Linda LePoe, I was in for a shocker! Before I go on stage, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, and all the dogs and cats that are watching Fresh today, I'm also in the show. I want to know who the three Aitsus in Linda LePoe's show and why I wasn't cast. <laughs> Jokes. Let's go. How did you come up with this concept, Darcy's? I looked in the mirror and I saw an Aitu, and it was me. No. I draw inspiration from my own lineage and I translate that into fashion, art. In my show, they'll see how I celebrate them and continue to celebrate them because I'm part of them and um, this is my way of paying homage to them. I met uh, Linda Lepo uh, in the Great Hall of, um, of Fame, actually, a very long time ago. Um, she stepped on my toe um, and actually squashed it. Um, hence why in this film, Maleficent, you'll never see any shot of my feet uh, because my big toe had to be taken out. It's amputated. I first met Linda. Uh, I was going through a bad state. I was sick and tired of being number one. I don't know why God gave me this gift. Ten consecutive number one. So I had to get rid of number two and number three, Kelly and Michelle, and that's all thanks to Linda. I found myself in Georgie Pine because um, I was just so over so overwhelmed by my own success and by my own amazingness that I just had to celebrate with the steak and cheese pie. I know if you want to share some tips for all the girls and boys out there that would also like to join the catwalk. Well, I like to pretend that I have three or two cans of corned beef in between my legs. So when I walk, I walk like there's a gap in between my legs. Yeah, I'm on my third can, but that's right. Comb. I can't even get a can opener. me to go and get ready. I've got to get out of these clothes and into my amazing gown. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tō whā, whā whinei. Panarazzi, what a cracker. <laughs> Good she doesn't know me enough to stalk me, but uh, here's a few facts about the Pacific you might not know. 
And a welcome to your favorite part of the show called a Fresh Fact. Yeah. This is where I give you heaps of information to make your brain nice and full so you can be impressed people and I look like a professor. Oh. Oh, yeah. This week's subject is all about the Ula, the bling bling of the Pacific. Yes, we're talking about a necklace made up of different things. Sometimes flour, Ooh. sometimes chocolate, oh. sometimes lollies, Ooh. sometimes things that look like a chili, but it's not a chili. Even sometimes we're using a teeth. Oh. No, not a human teeth. An animal's teeth. Oh. Yeah, that's it. Now the first ula we're going to talk about is a ula fella. The one that looks like a red chili, mm. but it's not a red chili. It's actually this thing called a pantanus tree. Oh. It looks like a pineapple. That's why fala mean pineapple. Ula fala. Oh. This one is only been using for the high chief when he's talking to the people wearing this red necklace. Thank you. The next one we talk about is a ula, a straight ula. This one is made up of flowers and you're using it to put on people for a decorate or a celebrate or any other aid. Huh? It's just like the one you watch on a fantasy island when they come off the plane, the plane, the plane, and then they put this ula on and make it look very pretty. Oh. Sometimes you see this in a graduation, but the Palangi people only using one sometime, but the Samoan and Tongan and Cook Island people, it's about 28. Huh? And it's make it very big, very heavy, just like a Mr. T on a 18. He used to stack on the hubs and hubs and hubs of necklace. <laughs> and if you wear too much too long, you're gonna have a neck like Mike Tyson. <laughs> <laughs> and the last ula we talk about it is an ula lolly. Everybody like this one because you can eat it. Oh. It's made up of a sneaky spa. Sometimes you're using juicy fruit mm. or the minty oh. or the making toast. Any kind of lolly to twisting it together Ooh. and you sit there in church and eat it. Yum. It's not the best ula if you want to go on a diet. Ah. So that's it. Using the ula for anything to celebrate it, wedding, 21st birthday, all that kind of things. But you can't use it on a funeral. True. You cannot put it on a dead person or a coffin or things like that. True. This is to our photo telly. I give you more advices on a more pretty things next week. Thank you. Minus. <laughs> okay, right, eh? Pretty much where it all started for me. Back in the days, uh, more of that after the break. My world. You guys are getting all serious on me. <laughs> Four. Yes. Forest. Excuse me, sir. Oh, yeah? Are you from the Middle East? No, no, I'm further, further east. I'm from the Far East. What I wanted to be was an aeronautical engineer, and uh, you know, the fact of the matter is not. <laughs> Come on. I didn't know what I wanted to be growing up. So, you know, I, I had a bit of trouble with the law and I wasn't doing the right things. Fighting was uh, God seen, I believe, and um, it saved my life. What happened was uh, I got into an altercation just uh, over here. You know, I was trying to help a friend out who was getting, getting beaten up just over there in that little corridor. <laughs> we ended up sitting side by side getting beaten up. <laughs> uh, back in the days, it was called uh, Don't Tell Mamas, and um, this is where I started my, uh, my fighting career. And I uh, ended up meeting my first trainer, which is uh, Sam. I could have been arrested from the cops because the car was right here, but uh, you know, luckily he uh, you know, saved me from getting arrested. And he asked me uh, to, to, if I was keen on fighting a Muay Thai fight, which I didn't have a clue about. Just thought I was a tough, so I thought I was, you think you think you tough. <laughs> the following week, I was um, fighting a Muay Thai fight in this very place. You didn't know about that one, cousins. <laughs> You know, with no martial arts pedigree, it's pretty good for, for someone, you know, fight at the top of the world, two different sports, you know, be the only K1 world champion outside of, out of Europe, and to be one of the best fighters on the planet. You didn't know about the best fighter on the planet, Kazi. I don't consider myself a violent person. I just, um, 
I believe uh, I'm just pretty good at, at uh, adapting to different situations. And I like to be the one that people don't worry about because when I come and steal their lunch, <laughs> I'm already gone. <laughs> so when I'm already, you know, I've already knocked them out and moving here, they go, oh, well, I didn't expect that. Well, you know, what did you expect? <laughs> I'm a New Zealander, first of all. I was born in New Zealand, you know, my parents are from Samoa, so my heritage is Samoan, but um, no, I fight out of Sydney. I got more, you know, more recognition in Australia than I get in, than I got in New Zealand <laughs> at, at one stage of my career. And, you know, people didn't want to give a rat's ass about Mark Hunt, but, you know, Mark Hunt was beating some of the best fighters in the world. I was pioneering a sport that, was, that wasn't even recognised down these ways. You know, I considered myself, even after six losses, one of the best fighters in the world. And, um, you know, I mean, you know, right now it's a bit different. You know, they don't treat me, they treat me a lot better than they how it used to be. But um, there is not many fighters from this side of the world, you know, to make a living out of it for such a long time. He has got all of Verdun's attention. Big takedown, but he's in the When I took the last contract, I know, I mean, it, uh, it wasn't about money, it was about, uh, you know, proving people wrong and you know, say that I wasn't good enough, you know what I mean? Or say he's not a good enough fighter or whatever. Well, I mean, the only opponent I'm, you know, cautious of and has always been freaking a problem with me is um, just the battle with myself. I've fallen in the hole so many times. I mean, shucks, you can't really do much else to me now. And then you're going to tell, you're going to dictate to me when I'm going to leave. I'll leave when I want to leave. <laughs> you want to make me leave? Try and make me leave. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying it, you know, I've got a great contract. You know, it's been a hard walk, but, uh, yeah, it's not over yet. Mark Super Samoa Hodge! So that's how it goes down in my world, where people hit the floor. Here are some other peeps that hit the floor for a whole lot of different reasons. <laughs> for example, in a totally different way. In a totally different way. Yeah. And you're going to hit the floor in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Sunset, sunsets, but we've been gifted with the end. Yeah, who really wants to live forever, ever, ever? Hi, everyone. My name is Seda Suaoi. Kia ora, guys. My name is Renee. But I can't love you right. I can't love you. I won't love you. But if you want life. Yeah, uh, before I joined Hopscotch, I used to do a lot of freestyling and just performing for family functions as well, um, because my parents couldn't really um, take me to classes and they didn't have any money, so uh, I used to imitate a lot of pop stars such as Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson and, yeah. So the move we're going to show you guys is called strobing. It's not actually a move, but more like an effect that you can apply onto your moves. So if you're coming up with all these moves and you're going like crazy, you can slow it down and add some strobing. Which kind of like a strobe light. Exactly how it sounds. So if you want to take your jacket off, but you're really not allowed to, you're just going to tense your muscles and you're going to go da, 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 again, da, 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 da. Da, da. From there, once you've got the basics, you can just branch out and extend. Da, 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 and add your own flavour. Keep it fresh. Hey, hey, oh hey. Make sure you come back after the break. Fresh Housewives of South Auckland. Oi! Oi! I was knocking for ages and no one opened the damn door, so I climbed through the window. Stop climbing through my window! Do you want to start Police Day 7 again? I'm here at the Miss World South Auckland to see what it's like to be fresh on the catwalk. Tabasco! Tabasco! Are you ready, kids? Are you ready, mate? It's time to sing our favorite song. Yeah! The, the Tabasco, Tabasco song! The wheels on Tabasco round and round. Round and round. Round and round. round, and round. The wheels on Tabasco round and round.
Welcome back to Fresh. Everyone loves the good soap opera. This guy making, hey, stop making noise. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> and uh, so this is one of the most salsa ones from out South Auckland. <laughs> I was. Being possessed. Shut up! How did you get into my house? I was knocking for ages and no one opened the damn door, so I climbed through the window. Stop climbing through my window! Do you want to start at least 7 again? Don't be jealous just because I became a star. Ooh, you're more like the sun. And what are you doing here anyway? Hmm? Don't you have a life to live? Sick of looking at your face. That's not really nice. Can't a girl come visit her neighbours and have a cup of tea? No, no, because the only time I see you is when you want something. What do you want now, huh? If I got it, I don't want to give it. Or if I do have it, I don't want to give it either. Say, I just want to borrow $20. Excuse me? OK, $50. What? $100 and that's my final offering. I'm not lending you any more money. Please, the line at once is too long. What do you need $100 for, hmm? Lay, it's sad. My mother's father's brother's Left cousin's sister died yesterday. He was so young. I thought you said sister. She was an angel. And I don't have any money to give the family lay, please. But that's not my problem, Madonna. It's not the first time I heard it. And I'm over you taking money from me. You know, all my life I've had to fight. You don't know what I... it's like to wake up every morning and have to wax your chest. Yeah, she missed the spot. You don't know what it's like to walk in my shoes. Because they're too big. You don't know what it's like to go out with a guy on Facebook because he's on the other side of the world. You don't know the struggle, Leigh. You have the housewife dream. And I'm just the nightmare. Hey, calm down, drama queen. Here, just take that and get out of my house. No, Leigh, it's OK. It's OK. Here, take it. No, Leigh, it's OK. Take it to feed your children. It's OK. See, see, here, here, just take it, here, here. Lay, it's OK, I don't need it anymore. Here. All right, then. All right, then. All right, what? I'll just take it. Yeah. Means a lot, Lay. I owe you. Yes, you do. My life, Lay, my life. Oh, and Lay, one more thing. I accidentally cracked the window coming in, so... Here's some money to help fix that. No mea hola! Will Lei ever get to keep her own money? Will Madonna stop spending all her money on her hair? Who is Joy texting on her phone? And why is the Fale Tour getting her creep on? These questions and many more may or may not be answered in the next episode of Fresh Housewives of South Auckland. Hmm, I think I got my give me a feed. Anyway. We're coming to the end of the show now. Uh, that's it for Fresh TV today. Make sure you tune in next week. Yeah, <laughs> Well, thank you, peoples, for joining me today. Um, it's been great. Look out to each other out there. Just waiting for a bit of food here. I'll see you next time. Come on. <laughs>
afro has to be done. Boom. Jandals has to be scratched. No, thank you. Mm -mm. Look straight in the mirror and say, you look beautiful today. Fresh, beauty tip. The best lipstick, you find lip gloss and any eyeshadow you want and you mix it. You create your own color. Kind of a like powdery uh, yeah, substance. Yeah, like a powder and then a lip gloss. Can you use like ashes? Curry? Second powder? Does anyone here want to show me their freshest catwalk? To be honest, that was, that was pretty amazing to me. Probably 17.5? Uh, 17.5 17 out of... Out of 10. Out of 10. Show me your freshest get fish. Show me your freshest get walk. What, what kind of walk first do you want? An evening gown walk? A uh, bikini walk? Um, don't need to be specific, it's just uh, a walk. Actually, it's a pageant walk, so there is specific. <laughs> Uh, out of 10, 11.9. Oh, off the record. Oh, way off. Because that walk was way off. <laughs> Can you please tell me the secret behind your catwalk? Um. Or not. Let's show those ladies how it's doing. Oh, yeah. Not bad. <laughs> Okay, yeah, uh, out of 10, that, that's a pretty good uh, um, uh, suggestion for beauty tips. I think uh, probably that's 12. That's 12? That's off the scale? Yeah, it's off the world, man. It's off the world. Up near the moon? No, just down Papakura. 